Kendall, thanks. The Omicron variant now has reached the United States. U.S. health officials confirming the first case of a person who just got back from a trip to South Africa. It comes as President Biden is preparing to outline plans for the country to combat the virus heading into winter months. NBC's Alice Barr joins us with, with the latest from Washington. Alice, good morning. Ben, President Biden has said his winter strategy does not include plans for another widespread lockdown, insisting that vaccinations and basic steps like masks and testing are the key. With the first U.S. case of the Omicron variant now recorded in a San Francisco patient who recently traveled to South Africa, President Biden is preparing to lay out a detailed battle plan today to fight off a winter COVID surge. We'll fight this variant with science and speed, not chaos and confusion. Senior administration officials say the strategy focuses on more widespread vaccinations, including boosters for all adults, even as scientists are furiously studying how effective current vaccines will be against Omicron. When you get a high enough level of an immune response, you get spillover protection, even against a variant that the vaccine wasn't specifically directed at. The president also stressing vaccines for kids to keep schools open and more workplace protections to keep the economy going. He wants to increase the supply of COVID treatment pills and expand free at-home testing by requiring insurance companies to cover the cost. And as scientists race to learn more about the Omicron variant. We don't know how infectious it is. Although there is a strong likelihood that it is more infectious than Delta. We don't know how sick it will make people. The White House is also set to tighten international travel requirements, making everyone, including Americans arriving from foreign countries, test negative no more than 24 hours before flying to the U.S. In one piece of reassuring news, the CDC says that San Francisco patient who tested positive for Omicron is now improving after showing just mild symptoms. Officials say the person is fully vaccinated and that so far all close contacts have tested negative. In Washington, Alice Barr, Wake Up Charlotte.